questions was uh, I broke my toe the other night. Uh, uh, pretty pretty good and i thought at first i had just gotten it's like the small toe yeah. um i think i not only got this small toe but i think i actually got it like above the toe like on the foot feels yeah. pretty perfect. that that metatarsal yeah yeah did, did you get an x-ray or you can just tell by the swelling and the discoloration yeah i can tell I mean, i've yeah. just broken toes before and broken a lot of bones yeah I, I've had so many broken toes, it's ridiculous. But um, yeah, so um, one, one of the things to do, like, um, and you probably know this from your previous broken toes and things, is if it needs stability, is just tape it to the toe next to it, like tape the toe, two toes together. But the oil that you want to use on that quite a bit is um, helichrysum on it topically. You know, just neat. Like, don't even worry about mixing it with anything. Just make sure that, you know, you cover the toe in between. Try not to move it around a whole bunch, you know, because usually it's just like a fracture. But, um, you know, if you think it's worse, you might want to see somebody. But like you said, you kind of have done it before. You know, you, you know, the, you know what they're going to do. And so um, this is what I always do. Like I, I cover it with helichrysum for the first few days. And then I rotate taking galbanum and black cumin in. And usually when you start doing the black cumin and the galbanum, the pain level goes down and the inflammation starts reducing almost immediately, like with, within usually a couple of hours. And so, you know, it doesn't shrink down completely, but it just starts shrinking. And you start to... to um, you know, if there's a lot of bruising or discoloration, it starts breaking up kind of quickly. The helichrysum will do that as well. And so that culmination usually kind of is what, what does it. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you think that it's, it's, it's a little bit more broken or something, I mean, definitely go, you know, the, the toe I'm not too concerned about, but that, that metatarsal, you know, up higher, um, you know, just be careful on it. Don't do, um, you know, if, if you can stay off of it a little, I mean, granted, you're going to be walking around doing stuff, but if you can stay off of it a little bit, elevate it at night, you know, maybe put a little ice on it as well. Um, uh, always good to do a little compression, you know, so like an ACE bandage of sorts, you know, wrapping it in the area or tape it up. Um, that's always good just to keep it as stable as possible. But um, other than that, it's just some time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just curious. How, how did you? How did you break it? Uh, I was just coming out of the bathroom and I didn't open the door fully all the way, but I had like forward motion, so I kept no. moving through, and I just yeah, yeah. you know stalker punted the door frame yeah. with my. Yep. Felt, felt like a knucklehead. Yeah. Oh, hey, been there. I've been there so many times. Like, uh, yeah. I've kicked stairs, you know, going upstairs, <laughs> like kicked the stair a couple of times, you know, like I've done that a couple of times. And yeah, I nailed it on the door one time and dropped, uh, like pulled a drawer out too far and it fell on the foot. And so just for future reference too, for you and for everybody that like, say, say it was that kind of scenario where you pulled a drawer out and the drawer fell and hit, hit the, the foot. And so with that, um, you know, there's the contusion, you know, from the, the impact. And then there's also a little bit of the, the fracture or the, the swelling. So you would do all the same things, but sometimes when you've had something like a drawer fall or, or, you know, a, a, a little bit more of a substantial blow to it, it will tear open the skin. And one of the things with the helichrysum is um, it, it actually has a cleansing effect, like physically cleansing on the, the open wound itself. It does re reduce the pain. And when a wound is open, you know, you see this in product healing where there's the technique for closing the wound. You know, you use orange and red and it starts to bind the wound. Helichrysum is that in the essential oil world. Like when you put helichrysum on it, the wound will actually start moving together to actually bind. You know, the only times that I have not seen that work too well is um, 
when when people have gone through a lot of chemotherapy, like their body's ability to heal wounds goes down substantially. And, you, you know, they might be, have an open wound for months that even with it being um, stitched up, it still won't bind and close. Um, that's been the only time that I haven't seen the helichrysum accelerate the wound healing. You know, it just, um, you know, it has more to do with their bodies in a state that's not allowing it to heal rather than the helichrysum's not working. But, you, you know, that can be your go-to thing um, uh, anytime that there's that kind of injury. And the only thing that I would augment that with is the night that it would happen or the day that it would happen is you could always add um, inhaling tarragon for, um, you know, for the first few hours, just, you know, keep inhaling it from time to time. And um, it will reduce the spasms and re reduces the shock in the body from the injury itself. You know, but like if it happened already more than 24 hours, don't even worry about that part. You know, that's just for immediate um, treatment. Um, you would still do the three components we, we talked about, but um, you would just add the tarragon. And after 24 hours, you can just drop the tarragon. Okay, great. Thank you. You're so welcome.